Fences. Okay, I'm still watching those Oscar films, even though no one gives a shit now because the ceremony is over. Uh, but I'm still catching up. So it is a uh, directed by Denzel Washington, an adaptation of a play by August Wilson. Denzel Washington plays a man called Troy Maxson, who uh, is a garbage collector in the 50s. Uh, in, he lives in Pittsburgh, and uh, he lives with his wife rose played by viola davis and he's got a couple of sons um and also a brother who is uh, brain damaged uh following a war um like injury he got in the war who uh lived with him until very recently and now lives down the road and it kind of takes place over a, a period of time in this family's life uh and the like various struggles and difficulties that they fall into here is a scene of denzel confronting his son with whom he has a somewhat strained relationship you ain't never liked me. Like you? Who the hell said I got to like you? What law is there say I got to like you? Want to stand up in front of my face and ask a damn fool ass question like that? Talking about liking somebody. Come here, boy, when I talk to you. Straighten up, damn it. I asked you a question. What law is there say I got to like you? None. All right, then. Don't you eat every day? Answer me when I talk to you. Don't you eat every day? Yeah. As long as you're in my house, you put a sir on the end of it when you talk to me. Yes, sir. You eat every day. Yes, sir. Got a roof over your head. Yes, sir. Got clothes on your back. Yes, sir. Why do you think that is? Because of you. <laughs> Hell, I know it's because of me. But why do you think that is? Because you like me. You probably heard that clip. That's the one they like to play. It's got great Denzel Washington acting in it. Maximum acting. Maximum acting. There's so much acting in this uh, in this thing. It's absolutely incredible. You can see why an actor wanted to make it into a film. <laughs> Gives him so many opportunities to act. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was really good. It's a very unashamed um, adaptation of a play. You know, like it makes absolutely no bones about its theatrical origins and feels like you're watching a play the whole time. It's actually a little bit like watching one of those tv events or like when you go to the nat um, the oh, cinema right. watch something that's been on the national yeah yeah when it's like one level above a stage production where they've like filmed the stage production to be broadcast but you're still clearly watching a play kind of thing yeah i didn't find it to be a huge problem i listened to kermode's review of it earlier today and he was complaining that it wasn't very cinematic and i feel like the medium of cinema is sufficiently elastic to accommodate the you know enough different dramatic styles that it's kind of okay sure you can probably make the case that it's inevitably feels like one step removed from how the story was intended to be experienced because the language is like and the rhythms of it are very much from the world of theater so it's a film where even if you had no idea about the existence of the play you'd know you're watching an adaptation right uh so you know perhaps that limits it in some way but i feel like the experience of watching it you're still fully engaged in the story and even though it's a relatively hands-off directorial approach i think he still does a relatively elegant job i think it's pretty pretty well directed um it's got uh extremely good performances everywhere viola davis was a deserved winner i think uh of the oscar whether she should have been in that category or the leading one but she has the most interesting character in some ways and she does a spectacular performance and so denzel's is also extremely good um and the whole cast it's a relatively small cast but it's been a while since denzel seems to have done something particularly it's a bit of a step away from the equalizer or magnificent seven seems to be yeah it's yeah big dramatic media role i don't think there's been a one in a while i don't know denzel's yeah absolutely i'm not a scholar of denzel's work particularly i don't like haven't seen that many of his movies to be honest but he does a great job it's very much like big acting like uh, the sort of oscar-y type roles sure they're emoting there's a lot of emoting there's crying there's shouting all that good stuff but um it all works because the material is very strong um and it's all about something um and it doesn't feel like they're not vain performances at all. It's not like, look at me acting. It's like... Not for your consideration. Yeah, exactly. It's very much in service of the material. Um, and because I'm like basically ignorant about plays, anytime I see a play, I'm like, this is like an Arthur Miller play because it's like I've like read like three Arthur Miller plays and I'm just comparing it to him. But I, but because that's my film reference, that's kind of where I went to in that it is uh, a bit of something social history that's written by somebody who's very cost conscious and is basically trying like it's a work which is very consciously trying to elevate uh the day-to-day -day lives and problems of uh, people in the lower section of society to the sort of realm of art and i think part of what makes the project so successful is partly that the play is a kind of love letter to 
the lives of poor urban black Americans. And it's obvious that Denzel Washington, who's marshaled this project, is deeply in love with the play and also with the characters within it. And the play itself is kind of about how people define themselves by uh, the, the sort of cultural and social context that they're in. And there's this thread running from a contemporary production of this play, like contemporary adaptation of a play that was written in 1987 that is set in 1957 and whose characters themselves talk a lot about their own uh, like history and like their, what their own fathers did and like right. how their lives have changed since the previous generation of black Americans. And it's kind of about how people who are in very poor material circumstances and whose lives are pretty much taken up entirely by their filial duties, the duties towards their family and like, and, and work invest themselves and their lives with identity and with meaning based on the context that they're in and it's like a uh, a way of bringing that it's a bit basically basically what viola davis has been saying in her awards acceptance speech is that it's like it's not just like shining a spotlight on like how people lived you know when the, these movies aren't only made about those kinds of people but about how like it's drawing that kind of connection that makes that brings that past into today yeah and i think that's part of the appeal of the film is that it's so full of that like sense of empathy and kindness for its characters because the the relationship for, of the play to its characters is like the relationship of the characters to their own like uh, fathers and grandfathers yeah. and you know parents and stuff. Uh, it's also an examination of the pressures and tensions within a nuclear family in the fifties, a very like traditional nuclear family in a kind of patriarchal society. And one of the things that it does very well is that Denzel Washington is the main character, and a lot of it is a kind of about how like he's under all these different pressures. He's very poor. Uh, his dream didn't quite work out because he was a very good baseball player and now he's like a garbage collector uh, which he blames on uh, basically racism um, because they weren't there like black guys play on the on the big teams um, and about how like life has kind of like ground him down and he's kind of hard a little bit hard on his wife a little bit hard on his son as a result but about how like that's sort of the focus the main sort of focus of the play but in the second half of it I'm always thinking of it as the play. I can't, I keep, when sure, I was writing sure. my notes on this, I kept writing play and then having to create the film. But uh, in the second half of it, Viola Davis's character comes out a lot more. And one of the more like interesting points that the play is making that isn't made so much in the Arthur Miller plays, uh, also about working class families, is that uh, even though he is basically in a system that's kind of like crushing the life out of him, because he's like the man of the family, like that comes with burdens, but it also comes with an identity that allows him to like situate his own struggles like as his own yeah it's like this is my house like i provided for you like i gave you life whatever he says to his son like yeah and it's all about what's his and like the problems are his but his wife is like the role of the wife in that kind of situation is to like give up her own identity to mm. the service of the family yeah. and, like her children and her husband and that is something that comes out much more in the second half of the movie when Viola Davis plays more of a dramatic role and is more assertive in the way she acts. And it's kind of making this point that women suffer under a greater difficulty in a way because they have many of the same kinds of pressures, but like they can't even articulate them in a way that like justifies themselves because they've had to like give up their sense of self to something else, which he has never had to do. Um, yeah, and it just, it does, it does a good job <laughs> uh, tackling these themes um and i thoroughly enjoyed it it's pretty long it's like uh two hours 20 minutes long whatever it's like the length of a play i guess um, maybe they cut it down but i guess not by that much but i recommend it i think it's still still sharing in a few places yeah um there's usually a sort of post oscar bump of a couple of weeks where they sort of all the films so you can again. go and check them out yeah exactly yeah yeah everyone is sort of acting their absolute socks off and it's a, it's obviously made with a great deal of care and like devotion and someone who's like very very passionate about this material and the setting is um, interesting and, and unusual. And yeah, it's a good play. And a film as well. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite film stars Bridget Bardo. She's the queen and she wants to be in radio. So she starts a podcast with her friends. And the terrorists try to stop her, but she beats them in the end. <laughs> <laughs>